I did a little bit of shopping Saturday, so I'm going to try to quickly show you some of the stuff I got before my cough medicine completely knocks me out. I am so sick of this damn cough and of sounding like an old man, so I had to get the strong stuff. I finally gave in and bought the Urban Decay Naked Palette, of course with a little primer potion. And then here are the eyeshadows, which I'm sure all of you have already seen numerous times and the brush it comes with. So since you get 12 great quality eyeshadows, I definitely think it's well worth the price. I'll be using it all the time. I actually wish I bought it sooner. Um, I know I'm probably like the last person on the earth to get it, but anyways, yes, I'm glad I finally did. So the Urban Decay Naked Palette. I found the Shady Lady Volume 2 Palette by The Bomb at TJ Maxx, so I only paid $12.99 for it. And my local TJ Maxx really never carries makeup other than Elf and Clinique, but um, they had a bunch of stuff by the bomb the other day, so yeah, I got this. Comes with nine eyeshadows, and I haven't really got to use it other than swatching the colors because I just bought this the other day, but um, definitely seem like they're great quality eyeshadows, um, well worth the $12.99 that I spent on them. I bought these two Boutique Lip Liners at Sally's Beauty Supply. Um, very cheap. I think I paid $3 for the two of these. I got this one in Wine, which is a deep reddish color. Then I got this one in Dusty Rose, which is a deeper pink color. It's what I have on right now. I filled in my lips completely with the Dusty Rose Lip Liner. And then I applied Lancome Lipstick in the new pink over it. So that's what I have on my lips right now. I picked up a couple Pure Ice Glitter Polishes from Walmart. This one is in Spitfire. It's my second bottle of this. It's what I have on my nails right now. I applied one coat of a pale pink polish and then applied the Spitfire glitter polish over it. And with that nail polish, you definitely need a top coat because without a top coat, your nails feel really grainy and rough. So a top coat is necessary to help them feel smooth. And then I got this one, which is also from Pure Ice. And this one has a deep purple and deep blue sparkle to it. And I haven't had a chance to use that one yet. I really haven't been a huge fan of the whole feather trend. Um, it's been around for quite some time now. I did make an exception for these earrings because the feathers are small and they're black so they pretty much just blend in with my hair. But I like the long dangly silver part, um, it's super lightweight. I'm a fan of big jewelry and huge earrings but sometimes um, they can get really heavy and these I really can't even feel in my ears even though they're super long and again the feathers kind of just blend in with my hair. some clothes but it was pretty much just basic stuff a couple cardigans a couple off the shoulder tops so um that is it for now